Hey everybody, welcome back to another career tutorial. We're going to be going over the last assistant tool option, which is the vanishing point here. It is very similar to the two point perspective, so we're just going to go ahead and make our point. As you can see, it only gives me one vanishing point and not two, like the two point perspective, but the overall layout here is pretty much the same. We have these controls on either side to change the angle of where we want that vanishing point to go. So we want to move it farther left at a different angle. We can align it to that line here. Same with the right side. And stretch this out to make it easier on ourselves. We can move it. We can change the actual vanishing point here and move it up and down. We can hit the shift key to make it vertical or make it horizontal and we can change the density. So if you want less lines, we can just do one simple vanishing point. Back here. If you want a lot of lines and go crazy with it, we can do that too. So when you go to draw, it's the same thing. Snap to assistance. We can do our vanishing point here and then we can start making, we'll say, I don't know, a, a walkway or just some lines here. You can see this line that's kind of going around here in a 360. Angle here, or circle, is where we're going to be drawing. The guides are just there so we can see what angle this is going to be on. And we can go all the way through if we wanted to. And yeah, now we don't have a vertical uh, line to draw from, so we can't make up and down straight lines. We can only do the horizontal and then the ones on the diagonal here for the vanishing point. This is still pretty useful though, so if I want to turn the snap to assistance off, I can just use the straight edge tool here, hit shift, and just make a bunch of lines manually. And I can go ahead and start making buildings from that. Hit the shift key. Let's see, this is a really thin building here up here. Go back to our brush. Actually, move it to my eraser. All right, very sloppy, but you get the idea. So this would be your building. And you can go back to step to assistance. And you can say that this right here is the vanishing point going down there. Go back to our straight edge tool and just make oops, a straight line here. So there's only one vanishing point. You can also take the vanishing point and overlay it with an image just to see how the perspective is in like a real, real world situation and kind of build your skills up from there. It's a good uh, practice tool. But that's basically it for the vanishing point. Pretty simple like everything else. Um, yeah, so if you like this video and it helped, make sure to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them and I will see you in the next one.